During this video I'm going to show you how to, to link Node Red that's sat on an Edge device. Uh, in this particular instance it's a Raspberry Pi 0W 32-bit operating system to InfluxDB in the cloud. I've set myself up with the InfluxDB free user account so it does have some limitations uh, but it's good to use this to understand uh, how you can uh, connect the data. When you set your account up, there's a few things that you need to make a note of. Uh, when you set it up, it will ask you what region and what cloud platform you want to, to use. Now I've selected Azure with Western Europe. So this is the first bit of information you need to make a note of. So copy this address, including the last forward slash, and I will open up Notepad. So that's the first bit of information that you need. So the next bit of information you're going to need is the organization. Uh, so when you set it up, you, you have to, to, to set this user ID and the organization gets automatically pulled through in this instance because I've logged in with my Google account. So this is my organization. So we'll make a note of this. And then the next thing you need is the API key. So we'll go to API tokens. Yeah, and we'll create a new API token. We'll call this Node Red. The name doesn't matter. And we'll copy this token. This is the important bit. So we'll copy that to the clipboard. And for now, we'll put it in Notepad. Okay, so we're going to need that later when we set up Node Red. And the last bit of information that we need is the bucket where we're going to store this. So we'll create a bucket. Uh, you get these default ones, uh, you can delete those if you really want to. So we'll create the bucket, set the retention time to a maximum of 30 days. And again, you can name this anything you want, but we'll call it Node Red with a capital N and a capital R. We'll create that so I can see the bucket there. And then we'll go to Data Explorer. So I can see here now my Node Red, there's, there's no information. So now we're in Node Red, we will select InfluxDB out. And when I click on that, the first thing you've got to do is, is set up your server. So that is your InfluxDB cloud account information. So if I come on to here, you have your URL. I'll get my notepad so you can see. My URL here at the top goes into URL, so I've cut and paste that from my um, web page. Then I have the API key that I generated that goes into token. I can leave verify service certificate ticked, do OK. Then my bucket, if you remember, was node red with a capital N and a capital R. And my organization was my Gmail login. Now you need to, to give the these measurements, um, uh, some sort of storage location. So we're going to call this office lights because I'm measuring the looks in my office. You don't have to give it the underscore, it's just something I do. Um, seconds for my time precision, done. I've got no red triangles, so it's happy with what I've done. That's all set up. I will now deploy. If it's made a connection, you'll get no error messages here in, in your debug. If it's had any, any problems, you'll get a connection error. So it looks like I'm now connected to InfluxDB in the cloud. But to see if the data's arrived, let's go to InfluxDB. So here we are, we're back in our cloud storage location. I have node red. If I hit refresh, I can see here now office lights and then I have ambient and light and if I submit that you can see my data so I can see that my, my data has landed um, I'll do another refresh on that so you can see the data is coming in from from node red so there you have it we have now connected a low-cost edge device Raspberry Pi 0W with node red installed which is open source software to our free account of InfluxDB in the cloud. What we'll do on the next video is we'll link this data to Grafana in the cloud so we've got a bit more of a powerful dashboard tool that we can use to look at this data. But for now, 
I hope you found that useful. Don't forget to click on the notification button. And as always, thanks for listening and hope to see you again soon.